Welcome to this video where I will be testing if the God strategy is profitable or not. This video is part of a series where I will be searching for the best trading strategy for cryptocurrency trading with the help of a trading bot. In each video I am going to test a strategy that is explained in a YouTube video, trading site or is publicly available for use. Each time, the strategy will be tested on its probability to make money by backtesting on multiple digital asset pairs over their largest possible backtest period. The result of this test is then compared with the results of earlier tested strategies. In the strategy league we can see which strategy has the highest probability to make money at the same time we have a life. We do this by using an automatic trading bot that uses these strategies, or algorithms, to make decisions to buy or sell crypto assets. In this overview I have written down the setup for these tests and also the method to try to find the best strategy. This is the way I do these back tests to find the strategy that has the highest probability to make profits with a trading bot. You can always use this as an inspiration to develop your own methodology for testing and comparing trading strategies between each other. I always strongly recommend that you do your own research after watching these videos. Develop your own way of testing and get confidence in your methodology. Also, from this video on, each pre-coded strategy will be glanced over, to see what the global intention is. After that, it will be back-tested. If it proves to be a really profitable strategy, then I will analyze the code further on why it is so profitable. The reason for this is that I have noticed that there are a lot of strategies that are coded in Python without any explanation about how the strategy works, which indicators it uses and which conditions determine buy or sell signals. Reverse engineering this code takes a lot of time, and this time is wasted if it proves to be a very bad strategy afterwards. So again, we will first discover if the strategy is profitable, and if so, we'll find out why that is so. If you like these videos and want to see more similar content, then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get notified on my newest content, then please click on the bell icon. This way you show me that you appreciate my efforts and motivate me to make more of these videos. Please remember that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Everything you see is hypothetical and based on historic data so there's no guarantee the investigated strategy will work in the future. Also, I am not a professional, so always do your own research or consult a real professional before using any information in real trading. As said, in this video I am going to test the God strategy. You can get his strategy by visiting the Frectrade site. Navigate to the GitHub repository, then click on the main GitHub page. You will see a repo that's called Frectrade Strategies. Click on this repo. Click again on User Data. Then on Strategies. And there at the top you will see the God strategy. This strategy is originally created by Masood Azizi. He also has his own GitHub site so if you appreciate his efforts, then please let him know. To download this exact strategy to your computer, use the command you see on the screen. Do this from within the user data strategies folder. To make use of this code, it is necessary to install the TA module. You can do this by using the following command. A quick browse through the code tells me that the original time frame for this strategy is the 12 hour time frame. Therefore I have downloaded this time frame as well, and will test to see if this has indeed the best results. Also the strategy makes use of some time depending ROI settings. And a fairly big stop loss setting of almost 35%. This section tells me that a trailing stop loss will be used. A little bit further down, there is a specific function. I have tested this function to find out what it does, and it will add all the available TA features from the TA library into the data frame, as you can see here. By doing this, the strategy execution will be very memory intensive, and you will see later on that this has a negative effect on smaller time frames. The buy and sell trend functions are not very clear to me yet. It seems that there will be some indicators checked against each other with this ifelif block of code. But why exactly there is a buy signal is not clear to me yet, or documented in this case. So, let's first backtest this strategy to determine its performance and find out if it is worth our time to check what it actually does.
As you have seen, at the lower timeframes this code took up so much memory, that my terminal, with the back test, crashed out on me. This is due to the enormous amount of data that has been put into the data frame by this strategy. And I am certainly wondering if all that data was needed. So therefore I had to settle with only the timeframes you see here. However, the timeframes that appear do seem to have good numbers. The profits this strategy gives are not that high, but the drawdown and win rate do certainly look very interesting. The 12-hour timeframe is not the most optimal, and the 4-hour timeframe has the most profits. But the one-day timeframe beats them because of its low drawdown according to my scoring method. Now, let's try to squeeze a little bit more out of this strategy on the one-day timeframe, and try to optimize it further. However, note that I do not even consider the possibility to optimize a data frame that consists on literally all the indicators of the TA library this time. After optimizing and backtesting, the improvements of this strategy are very nice. I especially like the win rate of 90% and its related risk of ruin. It loses a little bit on the drawdown side, but that is to be expected when you also have more trades. Looking at the exit reasons, the main source of winning trades comes from the trailing stop loss. And then the ROI also sells with a profit. But all in all, I am a little bit wary of curve fitting too much. So take these results with a grain of salt. Also if you consider the knowledge that we still don't know what triggers the buy signals. Finally and most importantly is the fact that only 8 pairs respond to this strategy worries me a lot. This way, using this strategy is some sort of a gamble on which pair will be reacting to these trading conditions and which not. The pairs that do, respond positively. But I personally would not want to bet my money on it at this stage. Now, before I show you on which position this strategy will enter the strategy league, I want to first ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, please click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I post new content. And, if you have comments, leave them below in the comment section. So, where does this strategy enters the overall league? As you can see, it takes up the 7th spot on the total list of all the automatic bot trading strategies I have tested so far. This has mostly to do with its score on the win rate, which is the second highest of the overall sheet. If the strategy actually does something with the crypto pair you've configured in your config.json file of course. In my case not even Bitcoin or Ethereum got signals from this strategy. So for me it is a gamble to actually use this strategy in forward testing and real trading. But again, always test this out for yourself, and find out if it works better or worse for you than for me. This concludes our findings for this strategy. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you like this new format. And see you in the next video.